Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this particular tutorial, we're gonna activate our street light when we've taken the electric box and attached it to our XR socket base. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Unity, and I wanna continue with our VR journey. So I've set up a spotlight, and then I have that game object inactive currently. So if I activate it, you can see that there's both a point light and a spotlight. The spotlight I have illuminating the ground, and then the point light I have just lighting up the light itself. What I wanna be able to do is I want to activate and deactivate this whenever I have actually attached that electric box to my light pole. For us to do that, let's go ahead and first turn this spotlight back off. With my electric base, my pole base, this is what we are attaching the electric box to, I need to go into my XR socket interactor and then I want to set up an interactor event. So I've got some options here. So I have both hover and select events. Now, so the hover event is whenever I am hovering within that trigger box area. So I have both a hover entered and a hover exited, but I wanna have it only do something when I've actually attached something to that socket. So what we're gonna do here is in the select entered. So whenever that box is now attached to the electric box base, then I want to have that light turn on and I'm also going to play a sound. I need to set up a select entered event. So I'm gonna go ahead and click plus. And so this is the game object that we want to control whenever something has been attached to this socket. So in this case, we want to control our spotlight, which is turned off. So I'm gonna grab that spotlight, drag it down into this box, and then what function is it that we want to do? Well, I'm going to choose no function and then go into game object. And then we've got an option for set active. So I select set active and then I have a checkbox. So if this box is off, that means it's going to deactivate that game object. If I have it checked, then that turns that game object on. So what we're going to do is essentially turn this box right here on and off. The other thing that I want to do is to also be able to play a sound. But before I can do anything with the sound, I actually need to add a new component. So what we're going to do down here is add a new component. And this is going to be an audio source component. And we're not actually going to stick an audio clip in there because we're going to do that within the interactor itself. But here we need this component to be able to play a sound with that game object. Now here's the other thing that we want to do also is we want to make this a 3D sound. For us in the real world, if we have a sound that's across the room, we know it's across the room because we can hear it in 3D space. So let's go ahead and apply that here with our sound. What we want to do here is the spatial blend. Currently it's on 2D, so that means it's going to play evenly across both of our ears. Or we can go ahead and take this and just drag it over to 3D. And then that way it's going to play in 3D space. Now it's going to play based off of the location of the sound. And the sound is going to be attached to this electric box. So what's gonna happen is you won't be able to see it in the video, but if I have my right ear towards the electric box, it's going to mostly play in my right ear. If I have my left ear, it's going to mostly play in my left ear, or if I turn around, maybe it's not gonna play as much. So that is the great thing about 3D sound. I'll cover this in another tutorial, but this will get us started. I'm also going to uncheck play on awake. Now also I have not added an audio clip. Again, we're gonna do that in our interactor. So let's scroll back up. Now that I have this audio source component attached, we're gonna go up and again, when we select entered, so when we've attached that electric box, we wanna play a sound. So we're gonna click on our little plus icon. And again, we are using our light pole box. And then I want to, in this no function, I want to go down to audio source. Now that we have that component attached, you can see we've got an option for play one shot. So we're gonna play an audio clip. Then it's asking for what that audio clip is. So I have an electric sound. So let's go and click on our little dot icon here. And let me just find that real quick, electricity. So we'll play that sound. That's the sound that we're gonna play. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a test real quick to see how it works. So here's my electric box. It is on the ground. I'm gonna go over to my light pole. I'm gonna pick that up. And now if I drop that on, 
I can hear the sound and there is my light and it's illuminating my space. But when I do detach this, it's still on. So we need to go ahead and fix that. For us to fix that, we've got an option here for select entered where we've attached. And now we need to do a select exited. So again, just like we've turned the spotlight on with our game object set active, we're gonna do just the reverse. So I'm gonna go ahead and click plus, take my spotlight and then go to game object, activate set bool. And then we're just gonna un have this unchecked. So that's gonna turn that game object off. And of course you can play a sound as well if you want to. I'm just gonna leave it blank. So let's test that out real quick. So here I'm back in Unity and I've selected my game object. We've played our sound, our light gets turned on, our space is illuminated, and I'm gonna take that off, and now our light gets turned back off. There we go. Hey, hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.